If your woman is thirst trapping, she's still taking applications. Absolutely, completely the facts. True. Hit it with the target. Women, and this is thirst trapping on the internet, thirst trapping in real life with these sexy clothes. I don't know how many times we have to endure the, let's be honest, this utter that women dress sexy for themselves. What? I mean, unless you're a lesbian, you're not doing it for you. And you've got women that, look, granted, there are women out here with incredible bodies. Stop, get it, get it. The kind that can stop traffic, be they real or imagined, be they live or memorex, whether they were in the gym, whether they were under the surgeon's needle, however it came about, these bodies are what we used to call banging. They're out flaunting these bodies because they work hard and they do so much. Well, let's get to the core of it. Sure, it's great to be healthy. We all need to be healthy. We all want to be healthy. But there's really no need to walk around looking provocative. We're dressing in a provocative way, I should say. No reason for it. So you're doing it because you want attention. You like attention. You need attention. And fellas, if you've got one of these women, and I don't care how good she looks, I don't care how sexy, fine, beautiful, gorgeous, whatever you want to classify her as, let's just, however you want to rate her, rank her. If you've got a woman who's out here being sexy, overly sexy. Now, it's one thing to look nice with a nice pair of, you know, fitting jeans or leggings and, you know, a nice top, as women call them that don't reveal too much. But when she's out here with the mid-trip on, the walking around in sports bras and spandex shorts, you know, just the kinds of things that as a man, when you're out and about with a woman like this in public, can bring harm to you. Because you've got some, let me just call it, you've got out here who will see that and will be aggressive about it and will challenge your manhood and you can't just stand there and do nothing so really this kind of attitude from a woman can be dangerous because we're in a world now where driving in the wrong driveway can get you opening the wrong car door can get you having your music have someone having their music too loud and you ask them to please turn it down or shoot in the like in texas shoot in a different direction please that can really get You've got somebody aggressive. They've probably got day and era. So now your woman's out here putting you both really at peril. So you're out here with her. You let her go out like that. You are, you better be ready to face the consequences because they could very well be incoming. And when that happens, you wind up one of two places. You, well, maybe three. You might. You might get hurt, maybe they're four. You may go to prison. At minimum, you are gonna fight a legal battle to try and clear yourself. People in these states, and there are so many of these red states that allow you just to walk around like the wild, wild west. Sure, you can do it and people, but there's a legal defense you're gonna have to mount. And unless you, and for you're fighting that, you're talking about on the low end, twenty-five thousand dollars you've got to come up with to mount a legal defense. Do you just have twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five thousand just laying around? No, you don't. So don't be stupid. And again, if your woman is thirst trapping, she's still looking. Book it. She belongs to the streets. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you know when the next videos are posted.